There is a geopolitical situation where it is clear that we have two blocks, the United States of America on one side and China, which above all seek their own interests, and both decide to be much less, if I may say so, complacent with international rules, or in any case respectful of them. Like many, I had the opportunity yesterday to speak to the president-elect Donald Trump. Some of us around this table know him from four years ago in his previous position. I congratulated him, but basically I think that our role here, in the European Union, is not to comment on the election of Donald Trump, to wonder if it is good or not. He was elected by the American people, and he is going to defend the interests of American people. And that is legitimate, and that is a good thing. The question is, are we ready to defend the interests of Europeans? That is the only question that we should ask ourselves. And for me, I think that is our priority. We must assume an agenda to protect our democracy, our democratic rules, our public opinion, the way in which our fellow citizens form their opinion in order to then be able to vote freely. If we become the theater of external propaganda because we are naive and we just consider that democracy is offering infrastructures, but not dealing with the regulation of content, our liberal democracies will be swept away. And you can see that whether it's our security, our defense, our economy and our prosperity model, our democracy, we'd have to build an extremely ambitious positive agenda if we become aware of what is the great Europe that we have on the table. It is an unparalleled geopolitical power. But until now, we simply do not assume ourselves to be a fully independent power. We think that we should delegate our geopolitics to the United States of America, that we must delegate our growth model to our Chinese customers, that we must delegate our technological innovation to the Americans. It is not the best idea. I think that we can regain control of it if we decide it during the upcoming decade, and not just within the European Union, but here. Basically, for me, it's simple. The world is made up of herbivores and carnivores. If we decide to remain herbivores, carnivores will win, and we will be a market for them. I think that it would be nice to choose to be at least omnivores. I don't want to be aggressive. I just want us to know how to defend ourselves on all of those topics. But I don't want to leave Europe as a great theater inhabited by herbivores that carnivores, according to their agenda, will come and devour.